uh, and there were two draws for both Kotoko and Hartsofolk. For Hartsofolk, it was their eighth draw of the season, another one-all draw uh, against Nations FC. This was the game played at the Kwame Chase Sports Complex, and it appears, and quite rather disappointingly, that maybe the early season interest in... Uh, as we said, yeah, the crowd wasn't um, brilliant, or it wasn't great, considering it's hard to work that is in town. But that tells you that when we have problem for the last two seasons or so, and they've done very little to fix it, you know, Ayi has been inconsistent. Atta doesn't look like a goalkeeper anymore. You know, when you look at his physique and his stature and, and how he's let himself go, he doesn't look like one that can be a competitive, you know, goalkeeper anymore. He can't fly, he can't dive. I don't, you don't, you, you entrust him to do that. Yeah. And I'm not surprised that Atafuka are suffering from because, listen, in the Kotoko game and in this game, these are some four points that Atafuka have dropped down to poor goalkeeping. Yeah. Because at the time, the game was 1-1 before Mukwale's goal, which was un undeniably offside, but again, held by Ai. Atafuka were very much in the game. They were under ascendancy. They were. And that first. goal, they scored first because they came back, but Atafuka were in control. And that goal changed the face of the game. And here they are, almost... Six draws in 15 matches for Hearts of Folk. They've only got three wins, and then the other five being defeat. What is going on? Um, the interesting thing is that if you watched this game, I think a draw was a fair result. In as much as uh, yeah, football comes down to these very minute details, and you'd have expected uh, Rich Murray to do much better than he did. I think Nations FC deserve to get a, 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 at least a point from this. This granted, okay, fine. They had already had a, a, a technical director in there. But you have to work in tandem with the coach for him to understand who he's coming to work with when, when you are talking about recruitment and things. So he came and inherited a squad that was already built for him. Then he struggled. He's left. And things just seem very funny. At the start of the season, Hearts couldn't score. All of a sudden, if Hearts are scoring, then it's Hamza who is scoring the goals. If Hamza is not scoring, then Hearts don't have goals in them. And if they look like they are going to keep a clean sheet, then they have a goalkeeper who really can't cut. So it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's very funny. But again, it just shows you the, the lack of seriousness from a, a club like Accra Hearts to fall. Because if you were a serious club and at the start of the season, you see the, this very torrid time, but they can't do anything about it because yeah. Atta is not in shape. And it's, 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 it's graceful. Honestly. And psychologically, this, is, this must be tough for him because there was a video that surfaced of... Uh, the Hearts of Folk players after the game talking to him, and then I think I'm going to say, fine, go all hard to get onto the pitch to try and encourage him and take him on the pitch. This is a real difficult moment for him. And that's the worst part of it. Once, once your teammates begin to question you, yeah. once they begin to feel like you are letting them down, it's affecting the outcome of the games. That is, that is where the problem is. Yeah. The moment they don't trust that the man behind them can, can protect them, then it's a mess. So Hearts of Folk need to sort that out. All right. Uh,